Okay, and before we get started into today's topic, let me just remind you that there are links to my social media down in the description below, and also some very cool cats that I know you're going to want to check out and subscribe to. All right. Let's get into this. Today, I want to talk to you about some signs of how it is, you know, if you're being love bombed, and that's not suggesting Netflix and chill, where you're sitting on a love seat and going, ooh, I love your eyes. No, 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 no. This goes a little deeper than that, okay? And here are eight signs that you're being love bombed, and it may be the most toxic dating trend yet. Now, if you hear weird sounds in the background, it's because Skittles is trying to take possession of the table, and of course we have the ever faithful, not Granny Monster, but Squirt Bottle, much to his chagrin. All right, so let's get into this. Eight signs are being love bombed. <laughs> All right. Now this is Ariel Ting. I'm going, I'm, my apologies, Miss Ariel. Tinkle? Okay, Ariel Tinkle. Go ahead, get your laughs on at that word. All right. Ariel goes on to say, ugh, as if we aren't already traumatized enough by phenomenons in dating like ghosting. And if you don't know what ghosting is, ghosting is basically the person you'd been seeing has done pissed you off to the point where it's like you have no further access, you've changed your number or blocked his number or her number, you have taken every precaution you can to take them off of every form of social media you have, and does that stop them? Not necessarily because they can always make up other accounts just so that they can spy onto your Instagrammer and your Facebook like, you know, true mature adults will do. <laughs> okay. So we've covered what ghosting is, so we'll go on here. Okay, now at first glance, love bombing might seem like the exact opposite of something bad, right? Because, you're thinking, oh wow, this person, I've never been cared for like this before, okay? However, it is a form of emotional manipulation. Now, and again, before I go any further, I am not a trained therapist, psychologist, doctor of any sort, and this is only my opinion along with Ms. Ariel's, okay? That being said, if you think you're being love-bombed and it's to the point where you as a nervous wreck, then seek professional help because I'm not the one. <laughs> All right. So the first thing that is a sign that you're being love-bombed is things are moving just way too fast, okay? And I think you guys know kind of what that means, but it's rare to find a person in the early stages of falling in love who can think clearly and rationally, but love bombing is different. The manipulator will do everything in their power to latch on to the victim and make them feel like they are the most special, most important person in the universe. They'll make declarative statements about being soulmates within a few days or weeks of the first meeting. Yeah, yeah, and boy do we love to love bomb on YouTube, good lord almighty. I mean, it's like, I love what you did here, I love your channel, I love you, I love your work, it's like, ooh, ooh, the sincerity runs just like a flowing stream, <laughs> you know, so, yeah, use caution not only in your personal relationships, but your business ones as well, okay? Your new bae might shower you with constant love, affection, lavish gifts, and over-the-top gestures. Clinical psychologist and author of Better Than Normal, How to Make Differences That You Can Expect in a Dating Situation, and that was written in Psychology Today. This is a calculated tactic to win you over before suddenly turning on you and showing off an abuse. controlling side that you weren't expecting and the new romance fizzles out fast okay so moving on there are 
intimate promises about the future. <laughs> I would just like to have some promise of some intimacy, nah, I'm saying. <laughs> okay. But yeah, in this particular thing, you may feel as though you found the most romantic person on the planet. Your new boo is already talking about future wedding and honeymoon and children, and that should be like a major red flag, okay? Yeah, yeah, if like on the fourth or fifth date, someone is telling you, and so uh, we'll have like the bestest looking kids ever. Uh, uh, uh. Now the next sign is you're being lavished with gifts and romantic gestures, okay? Yeah, diamonds may be a girl's best friend, but also use some, use some wisdom and all of that, okay? And of course there may be some super trick, they may be super tricky to determine if your partner's love bombing you or merely a hopeless romantic. So other than reserving judgment to see if it all fizzles out, you can try to also read between the lines. In the meantime, what does the note that comes with the flowers say? If there are promises of the future very early on, you may have yourself a love bomber. Okay? Number four, there, you two are the constant communication, like constant. You know, like he sends a text or she sends a text. Maybe you might be in the shower and it might take you 15, 20 to get back to them. But if they flip out, like, oh my God, uh, I sent you like, 12 texts and, and you didn't answer. What, what, what's going on? That's, well, first of all, they're insecure. <laughs> okay? Like, I was in the shower. Oh, honey, you should have called me. I had to come over and take the shower with you. Oh, well, no. <laughs> yeah, I was doing some stuff in there that was quite personal. But thanks for the offer. <laughs> yeah. So be careful that somebody is like, I saw you on Facebook this morning and, you know, you didn't change your, your, your status from single and so, you know, I was worried. Are we okay? Yeah, be careful of that shit, okay? Seriously. Like, constant communication. There are just some times when you need to be okay with who you are. They need to be okay with who they are. And trust in the fact that you don't have to be constantly, constantly in contact with one another, Okay? And that's all part of the very blissful getting to know you stage. You may feel enthralled at the idea of receiving very uh, several flirty texts and emails after a date, but love bombing crosses the line into obsessive, constant communication. Okay? So be aware of that, kids. Now the next thing is, and this is where st stuff starts to go downhill with the love bomber. The honeymoon phase ends quickly. All right. And what does that mean? Before you realize what's going on, your partner will reveal his or her true colors. And it won't be pretty. Just as quickly as things get heated up, your partner will abruptly begin turning the tables, using their manipulation skills in such a predatory way, you're left feeling understandably hurt, confused, and even bewildered. They'll possibly begin criticizing you, lashing out at you, and or starting arguments at the top of a hat. Okay? So, there's that. Now, number six. They're making unreasonable demands and expectations. All right, now let's get into this, okay? The love bomber will do whatever it takes to control most aspects of your life. So they might suddenly be agitated when you mention plans with friends or forbid you spending time with coworkers. They may feel threatened to, they may feel threatened to leave or set unrealistic ultimatums, forcing you to choose between them and other loved ones in your life. Okay? So, be careful. Also, be careful the way in which that is manipulating you. Okay? Like, let's say I'm like, oh, you know, I think I'm just going to chill with the girls and, 
maybe watch a few videos or, or Netflix or whatever. And they're like, oh, but can't we just stay in? You know, I bought you all these, you know, roses and, you know, we got this wine and let's just sit here. Let's just be us. Let's just do us tonight. Okay, that's manipulating you and keeping you from chilling with people that care about you. And you would think if somebody really loves you, they're not going to love bomb you and manipulate you like that. They're going to, oh, go have fun. Tell me all about it when you get back. If you're constantly up one another's ass, guess what? Eventually you got nothing to talk about because you're always with each other. Okay? Number seven, they begin exploiting your insecurities. Hmm. Yes. Love bombers are experts at detecting low self-esteem and exploiting it. If you love your partner and you've also told your partner about the problems you've had in the past with relationships or worries about your boss or an arbitrary insecurity in your life, they will use that to prey on you as a form of psychological abuse. Okay? Love bombers exploit the natural human need for self-worth and turn it into shame, regret, and self-loathing. This is often because the love bomber is actually the one with the insecurities in the relationship. Let that sink in for a second. Now there are two ways around this. It's emotional abuse. And the victim has nothing to do to deserve being treated this way. So let's say, um, I have a fear of snakes, okay?